Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Industries of Titan. It's been a while. I had a week where we didn't have any new videos for this. I'm sorry about that. I had TwitchCon in the weekend so I couldn't record new videos. And then during the week, it was just too hot over here to um, record any new videos. But hopefully we are back on track now by releasing three of these episodes a week. We're still having to build a defense turret and the last episode we started building this energy plant because we need more energy so we can actually get this office working for more incoming money. Um, however, we need more fuel to make this energy plant work. So let's try and get that going first. We're gonna remove these ruins over here. We have Cetane over here and um, we want to use that for our uh, fuel. So in order to do that, we would like to unlock the fuel turbine and we need 1000 credits to unlock that. We do have some council um, influence, so we can use that influence to get us ourselves some credits. So if we do this twice, that is 20 council um, influence points that we used. And now we have enough to unlock this. And the fuel turbine can be placed here because there is a lot of satane over here. Um, so let's make that one over there. And um, let's speed up the game a little bit. Well, actually a lot. Go full speed. We probably need a bit more credits because currently um, yeah, we should be able to pay our citizens, the employees. That is 480 and we should get 576 as income. So the fuel turbine is being built. Um, however, we need to get rid of that waste and I want to prioritize this over that one. And what do we do with waste? We should probably place that in one of these buildings for the moment. Wow, there is a lot of waste in this building as well. So let's uh, make a waste receptacle um, over here because these are all full. That is not gonna help a lot, but it will help a little. And upstairs, there is not so much, but we, uh, we should probably add some more waste uh, receptacles um, and now we're out of minerals so let's make that and hopefully that will be enough to empty out the waste that is in this area and all the minerals one they can get rid of as well that should be no issue uh, we have a little bit of a fuel drain, so hopefully as soon as this fuel turbine kicks in, we should be okay on that level and we can then finish the other um, energy plant and then we can enable the office and when the office is enabled we can remove the monetization stations from factory one and that will be the plan that we have since the last episode. Okay, so this is still waiting for the final bits to be removed. The minerals are taken care of, almost. We have three left. And then we have nine waste that needs to be removed. We have so much waste, we need to take care of that at some point as well. We have a lot of influence points, so I'm gonna use those to, uh, to get a trade. But we don't have enough trade tickets anymore. But we do have some money now. Um, that is good because we need the money and now the fuel turbine is also being built six seconds left five seconds there we go and we have the building done perfect so we're gonna send somebody in here and uh, as soon as that person is in there we uh, we can actually get some fuel there we go now look at that we are making fuel um, so this is generating 21 fuel that is not as much as I had hoped um, 
so that will influence this building as well. We'll, we'll have to deal with it. The energy plant is now being built. So hopefully that will n not completely drain it. Uh, fuel cost is minus 12, so we should be okay. And uh, we're gonna give it an employee so that we actually use it. Because soon the leisure of the day will be over and then they sleep. And once they work, we want this office to be usable. So, um, in the meantime, we can probably claim some of these areas. This has quite a bit of minerals. We kind of need those. We want those. So let's claim them. Um, we're having a lot of power now. So I think we can enable this because this uses 32 power. So we have enough. We're going to enable that. And then we can go into factory one. And we can dismantle these monetization stations. Um, and that will get rid of those. Perfect. They will take care of those. And um, that gives us back a little bit of mineral. Now, what is next is we need to, to build a defense turret, but we have to unlock that. That is a thousand credits. Um, so we have two tickets. We're going to get some more credits. Um, what do we do first? I think first we are going to unlock the defense turret. No, we're not. We're going to first do something about our waste, I think. And what can we do about our waste is building a smokestack. But the smokestack uh, gives a... Um, it gives us a negative effect of that it generates pollution that releases gases that may harm unprotected citizens. But we need to get rid of the waste because we have so much. Um, I'm going to place that far away from where we currently have our living quarters so that is over that way um, it should be in range of our energy fields yep that is exactly where we want it right over there and um, let's build that let's build that so what we need is some minerals they're getting delivered and uh, some isotopes we should have plenty of those as well and then we can finally get rid of that pollution uh, not pollution waste because there is a lot in this building as we have seen this whole floor is just gross it is very gross um, they're working on it, uh, making us uh, better minerals, so that is good. Hopefully they uh, they do well and give us some better minerals so that our buildings are basically cheaper. We can uh, unlock this, claim it, and send an employee here so that we collect some minerals. These ruins... We can probably claim and collect the artifacts. We have more trade tickets. I do want more. Uh, I do want more credits. We need credits so that we can unlock our defense. Because we're at 51% threat level. So they are coming. The rebels are coming soon. Okay. This is building now. The smokestack. Hopefully, uh, we have uh, we have living space for more. So maybe we should uh, we should get some additional ones in. Uh, let's do this. Let's get more people. That is very useful because we need people to work because we don't have a lot. There they come. They came and they arrived and now they're walking here and they're walking towards the housing, which is over here. We have a residential. We can s 
uh, have 16 residents living here, so they're full now. That is great. We can upgrade it to a level 2 building, and uh, that gives us extra storage. It also gives us extra living space, and it gives us better pollution resistance. So we should do that at some point, not right now, because that will make the building... Um, disabled and we don't want that we want them to be able to live there we need to send an employee here so let's do that and then we have our smokestack working so now waste can be delivered here i don't know how quickly this is burning through uh through waste but i'm hoping that it will burn through it pretty quickly this ruin, we can uh, claim it as well. Uh, let's claim the artifacts. This one, however, is a building that can relay energy. So that is useful, I think. At some point. We are making quite a bit of money now because we have this uh, office here. And, uh, and if we upgrade it, we can have 48 people working there. But we also use a lot more energy. So let's not do that just yet. Um, but we are getting the money. So let's unlock what we need. And that is the defense turret. The defense turret costs 24 energy. Um, so it also requires 400 minerals. So let's wait until the minerals are upgraded. And uh, hopefully we are removing some of the waste from all these buildings. Um, we should we should have that working, but I think um, the um, the waste carrying of waste is the lowest in their priority list. I'm unsure where we could find that again. So I should look for that. And then we can prioritize waste. Um, so let's build something first. We need more energy. So I'm thinking of upgrading one of these buildings. It will generate 72. Uh, but it will also require a little bit more fuel. And if we upgrade the fuel, um, it... Yeah, let's upgrade the fuel. Uh, I know we're draining the fuel now, but as long as we uh, we get this done quickly, we uh, we should be all right. Maybe you should not do this during the, uh, during the night time when everybody is uh, not busy. But there he comes. I think he is bringing the thing and here's working on it so it's all good so now we have a level two and that will that will give us proper proper fuel um, so I think we generate a bit more so that is nice so we generate more of the fuel and then we can upgrade one of these that is um, gonna cost us nine so that is also just a single of uh, three i think the three is a nine yeah so we have plenty of those so let's upgrade this and uh yeah we're out of power but that is okay because we are not during work times hopefully one of the people comes out soon with one of those isotopes and we can upgrade the power plant. There we go. Lovely. So, for the defense turret, we will have enough power once that is upgraded. We are now just waiting for our minerals to be converted so that we have enough to build this defense turret. We're at 58% threat level. Well, that's okay. We have plus 40 energy now, so all is good. We should probably delete this ruin. 
Um, let's just get these um, artifacts. Because we want them artifacts. We're also going to claim this mineral patch and we're going to collect from that. We need more minerals. They are converting them hopefully soon. But maybe they have an issue converting them. Uh, this is the wrong building. Because there's too much waste in here. No, they should, they sh they're still working. Um, this output module has a, has a tier 2 output module. And what is all these? Processor is full. Storage is full. The output module is fuel full. So come pick that up, please. I don't know when they pick it up. I think uh, I think we're working. Uh, I think they're doing good. We already have ten. Um, tier 3 minerals so they're working on it that is great and uh, that way we're getting to that 400 that we need for our defense turret where are we going to place that probably somewhere here on this plot um, what is this it's an artifact patch let's claim it and we can assign an employee so we can collect artifacts we have quite a bit of artifacts, so that is great. Um, we also have trade tickets. We're gonna claim some money. But we should do well with the work time, and that should give us a lot more money. Now, we we do have enough, but we wanna just use the tier three to build this um, turret. So we're gonna wait one more we need one more tier 3 and then we have 400 which is enough for our defense turret so let's wait for that and then we'll build it and we have enough energy we have everything needed for this we have enough so I'm gonna place this here and that should be that. And we're working now towards our directive, which is lovely. Uh, we can claim this for four, let's claim it, because that looks kind of weird. What is next? I think we want to have another residential and then we can upgrade one and um, make the other. This requires a lot of minerals so we'll wait until we have uh, enough tier 3 minerals as well uh, storage is full that makes sense this smokestack is uh, it's not doing much huh yeah we need to uh, we need to prioritize waste movement um, I'm not sure where that was, where we can do that. That's probably somewhere priority. Here it is. That was the prioritized task of um, of the employees, and that is what we're gonna have to set. We clean up is. Yeah, that is what we what is named. But how do we clean waste? We want somebody. Why is this having not enough available employees? Okay, we need more employees, so let's do that. I think we can make some more. We have artifacts, so that is there. We go. Let's convert some. That should work, and then we'll have a job, and we can. Do that. All right. Built a smokestack. We have already done that, no? So, founder, you probably noticed that our waste problem is getting pretty serious. Yep, we know. Well, I'm sorry, guy. Here. We already did done did this. So, what is next? Reprior 
reprioritizing employee tasks. I guess we're going through this in a different order. Your but, employees um, are working hard. Yeah. But are they working efficiently? You can use the employee management panel to choose which task they will complete first. Yep. Access the employee management panel, then drag and drop items in the task list in any order you please. Yep. They'll complete tasks in the list starting at the top and working toward the bottom. That sounds good. It's always a thrill to transform employees from aimless drones into focused, empowered laborers. Yeah, I want to I want to clean up move resources. Processing can probably be if they have nothing else to do, maybe. Is that is that how we want to do it? I don't know. It seems like a good plan. We'll do that for now. And uh, we ne now need to build a Your shipyard. will suffice, but if we really want to hit the rebels where it hurts, we'll need a shipyard. In Kay. a shipyard, we can manufacture military-grade combat-ready vessels. Sounds perfect. But each shipyard perfect. can only support a limited number of ships. If we want more birds, we'll need more shipyards. Simple as that. Try building a shipyard now, and we'll have birds in the sky in no time. Um, I kind of want to build another residential. Maybe we just do that over here. First, make a residential so we can get more people to come in. And uh, let's see if we can convert one more. There we go. We have four living spaces, but we'll have more soon because they're bringing in these minerals and the isotopes. So hopefully the waste is getting taken care of and then we, uh, we, we have clean buildings again. Maybe, maybe. It doesn't look like it's cleaned up much, but I don't know. They're doing something. Yeah, they're doing they're doing stuff, but mostly they're just moving in minerals, I think. But this is doing its best to be in completed and then we can see how many uh spaceport migrations there are. Um in uh, six seconds, we have this. It's seven. We don't have enough living room spaces, but we will in a second. Um, it doesn't have energy, so we won't have it in a second yet. We need the um, energy pylon. Um, I think we're going to place that one over here. And we need that because we need the power to go this way. It just costs us one single tier 3 isotope, so that is not too bad at all. We have the shipyard unlocked, but we still need more minerals for that. Let's uh, start. This is obsidian ruins. And I am not entirely sure what that entails, but let's claim it. Oh, there's isotopes 2 in here. So let's let's claim those. That is good, I think. Uh, there's very little in here. This is our um, council, so we'll keep that in mind. Our shipyard, where are we going to build that? Probably somewhere around here. Okay, we have plenty of room now for our new peoples. But we have to wait a little bit longer because 32 is too much. We could upgrade one of these now also. Let's, uh, let's upgrade one of those buildings already while we don't have too many of them and we can only have a limit of 14 employees so we should 
expand that as well. And that will be done with the conversion center, but we'll uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. Let's first make that spaceport. Shipyard. That is what I meant. Um, we are full uh, on what? There is no more for mineral storage. Okay. That is for minerals storage for minerals one, right? Because we set this to minerals one. We can add another storage for minerals one, I guess. That is a battery. That's not a storage. This one. Mm, they're gonna build it at some point, hopefully. Yep, there we have it. And we're just gonna store minerals one in there. But hopefully they will start putting minerals two in this thing. But I guess that's not priority for them. Let's get onto that shipyard thing as soon as we can. We have this building now, which is great. We are still okay with the fuel and the power, but barely. So we need to think about that as well. Before we do anything else. Because the shipyard also cost 24 energy. So um, it would be nice to upgrade this energy plant also but then we need more fuel can we upgrade this one more time we actually can it costs 36 isotopes um, which is four I uh, four isotope th tier three um, and then it will absorb even more uh, do we want to do that I think we 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 can do that because we don't really want to build another one. Or maybe we do want to build another one. Let's survey that building. Let's uh, claim this mineral patch. And let somebody work on there as well. Alright, we, uh, we finished some of the things that we wanted to finish. We have some, uh, some sort of defense. We're working towards the shipyard. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time. And we can now add a couple of more people. Let's do that. Let's add 10 more of them. That is what we want. And let's add another 17. So we have a bit of an increase in workforce. And um, yeah, we are going to continue with this very soon. This is going to be the episode for today. Next time we will build that shipyard. I will see you all very soon. If you like this video, please make sure I do know by hitting the like button. If you want to be informed when the next episode goes live, make sure you're subscribed. And uh, I also stream on Twitch. And we have a Discord channel. Both of those links will be in the description. Thank you all for stopping by. I'll see you guys soon.